Hello, Johnny. You're late. Ready for me? Yes, I am. How have you been, Harry? All right. Where have Great. you been? Oh, running around trying to uh, take care of all the business at hand. And um, it's been quite a busy time. Not to mention, I just left uh, the south of France. Uh, the Medam Convention was taking place there. Your first big hit in Holland, a real mother for you. Was it as big in the United States and other places? <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, it was gold and quite um, uh, a very strong piece of product. Well, I think the strongest thing I've ever did. We were nominated for a Grammy this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very big in the States, yes. Now, um, your new thing, well, I mean, it's like this disco funk thing. Before that, you used to do different things. I yes, I did uh, the blues. I was known for my blues uh, uh, things, the things I did. Uh, uh, from uh, the old school, so to speak. They were um, very delightful to do, I might add. I enjoyed playing the blues like I'm enjoying playing the disco funk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You consider it to be disco funk? I mean, I gave it that That's name. what they consider it to be. Yeah. And no, it's uh, progressive R&B is what I call it. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we do roots of the blues inserted into the new rhythms, which are commonly known as disco, I suppose. You could, you know, refer to it as that. But I would have to call my particular approach progressive disco. Right, so you don't consider it to be like a commercial sidestep? No, no. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more about your past, I mean... Well, <clears throat> there isn't too much to tell other than disappointment after disappointment. However... <laughs> <laughs>